What's good with y'all, man? It's Cam Bring y'all another video straight like that. Comment right down below what you want to see in the next one. Like and subscribe if you're brand new. And let's get into the video, man. So this one is about how to make a woman want you. In fact, let's take it a step further. How to make a woman simp for you. Now, I know a lot of y'all have no idea what that feels like. Y'all don't know what it feels like to have a woman actually want you. And the reason that you don't ever experience that feeling and you've never had that before is because you have never realized that you as a man also have value. You have never realized that you are able to increase your value as a man. See, the thing is, we are living in a society nowadays where everything is so, is so physically based, right? You are so focused on, um, um, you know what I mean, the shape of a woman and, and things of that nature that you don't even realize that value goes beyond just physical looks. We live in a world where everything is just face value, face value, face value. And that's why a lot of y'all be failing with women because you don't know how to re uh, raise your value as a guy. You don't understand that. A lot of y'all is on that black pill stuff where you don't think you you think that if you came in came in this world and you got good uh, great genetics, you know what I mean? That's the only thing that could save you. A lot of y'all is just average looking. The average guy is just average looking. So therefore, you know what I mean? You gotta ask yourself, dang, how can I get women when when I I, I don't I don't got Cam genetics, I don't got Michael B. Jordan genetics, I ain't got ASAP Rocky genetics. I'm just an average dude. So what a lot of y'all do is you turn to chasing women. And that's why you struggle with them because you cannot attract what you chase fellas and that is a motherfucking fact you cannot attract what you chase because if you are steadily chasing women how are they gonna come to you you keep running after them you're not giving them anything to chase you know what i mean like literally imagine you run imagine in the jungle and you a lion and you chasing after your prey your prey ain't gonna come to you you chasing it of course they're gonna keep running away and it's gonna get harder and harder and harder because over time you're gonna start to realize like man what am i doing wrong how can i how how can i get more women like it, it ain't working well the key is in upping your value man and i've been preaching that in all my videos man i tell you you have to up your value because when it comes to the dating game what it really boils down to is just supply and demand fellas listen hmm Supply and demand, fellas, is a very basic, very simple concept. The less you, uh, the less supply there is, the higher the demand is. Now let's look at what women value the most to see what 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 should you be supplying, what is in demand from these women. The number one reason that women cheat uh, uh, on their on their men is because they were not being shown enough attention. This is done in a survey. They're not being shown enough attention. Now, there's a stipulation here that cannot be found through surveys. That is 100% facts. It's not that she just isn't getting enough attention. It's that she's not getting attention from the guy she actually wants. So the thing is, when it comes to infidelity, yes, she's not getting enough attention from her man. But it's, she, it's not that he's not doing the most for her. In fact, he may be loving her and doing some more shit, but he's not showing her the attention that she wants to be shown. It's not on her terms. See, nowadays, everything must be done on her terms. It's all about her. So if you are not fulfilling all of her needs, not to protect a provider, you don't fulfill her physical needs, emotional needs, sexual needs, all that. If you're not fulfilling that and, you, and you're not showing attention, she's going to be like, oh, man, why am I with him? You know what I mean? The, the, the thing about attention is that if she gets attention from a guy that she's not interested in or a guy that she's just not rocking with bruh you know what i'm saying she kind of views that as that's literally like pennies on a dollar it's literally like oh yeah whatever like she'll take it she ain't going she ain't going reject it and turn it away but she doesn't appreciate it and she doesn't value it in fact she doesn't even see it as something that she it's not even like tangible to her the only attention that she really cares about is from guys that are up here because the average woman believes she's deserving of a man that's up here. Women are high pregnant, they date up. So therefore, she wants attention from the guy that she actually wants. So now that we know this, let's get back to the supply and demand. <clears throat> when you increase your value as a man, you can even increase it more by holding on to that attention. When you're walking down the street, do you realize that almost every woman that you pass is expecting you to look at her? Did you know that? Did you realize that almost every woman that you pass is expecting you to look at her, say, damn, and maybe even approach her? The reason for this is because she thinks she's hot shit. Like, like let's be real. Average women believe that they're hot shit. 
They're not like the average guy. The average guy believes that he he has to chase women in order to get them. Or otherwise, they ain't going to come to him. And there is some truth to that. But the average woman believes that she's goddamn Beyonce. You feel me? Walking down the street, she expect everybody to be looking at her and stuff like that. She got her birthday makeup on, looking like... But I digress, man. So knowing this, when you deprive her of attention, that is when the demand for your attention will go up, right? Now, you have to understand that that's only the second part, right? Because the whole attention thing, right? If you're not that guy to her, it won't matter how, it don't matter what you do. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter if you deprive her of attention. If you're not that guy to her, she's just going to leave you alone. You feel me? That's why the pullback method don't work for some of y'all because she didn't really want you in the first place. So the pullback method, all that did was, was make her like, well, damn, who, who, this ugly ass nigga, what the fuck? This ugly ass nigga trying to pull back on me? This ugly ass nigga trying to stop showing attention to me? Do he realize that I'm I'm that bitch? Like that's the way that she thinking. Like, do he real like what the fuck? Like now she now she mad and now she don't want to fuck with you no more. You feel me? That's why the pullback method don't work for some of y'all because you haven't fulfilled the first step, which is your value as a man, right? And in order to increase your value as a man, there's a few things that you must do. You gotta get your money up, you gotta get your looks up. Okay, so when you do things the uh when you do these two things, right? And oh get your game up too. And this is what I mean by that. When it comes to money, we already know what it is, man. If you stay on your purpose and you know for a fact that you grinding and you out here chasing this bag, money will not be an issue for you. A lot of young dudes, they don't value getting to the bag. They you you gotta be different, man. You really do have to be different, man. Like a bunch of these dudes, they always on the ground flexing and even though they ain't got it, they always talking about how many bitches they got. Fuck all that. You watching this video, make the change for the better and still, bro, go start chasing a bag. Because when you stop chasing these women, you start chasing a bag, you're going to realize that, damn, ever since I stopped chasing women, women start chasing me. And then when I get the, when I got the bag, women for sure started chasing me because when I got the bag, I was able to afford that Cuban link. All diamonds, real, not Fugazi. I was able to afford that, 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 that new Tesla cyber truck. And now the women is looking at me like, oh, shit. And then you pair that with the personality, too. Oh, my God, girl. Girl, I talked to him. Oh, my God, he's so masculine. Oh, my God, he, he, he he's so calm. Like when you talk to women, man, like, bro, your personality has to be on point. You have to you have to become comfortable with yourself. I used to talk about this all the time, bro. You have to become cool with yourself. The reason that you have to become cool with yourself is because if you're not cool with yourself, how can anyone else be cool with you? See? Mm. that's the key to being confident when you finally accept yourself for who you really are who you truly are up here man that's when you can finally be yourself around other people and when you can be yourself around other people and be confident especially around women that's when they start to like you more right because the average dude changes his personality around women you ever been around women with your homeboy you ever been uh, uh around some females with your homie and he start acting mad weird he start roasting you he start doing all this other, other extra shit that's because he's nervous and he doesn't actually, he's not cool with himself. He's insecure about himself. You see what I'm saying? You can't be like that. Women pick up on that like blood in the water. They sharks. They pick up on that easy. And they're going to attack them insecurities too, bro. A woman can spot a nervous dude from a mile away. You see what I'm talking about? So that's why you got to be calm, cool, confident. And you got to give off that masculine energy, man. That sturdiness, that strength, the strong. You know what I'm saying? When you're talking to a woman, look at her in the eyes, fellas. Face her forward. Stop turning away stop fidgeting with your hands see how i'm talking to the camera right now very calm smooth i'm not you know what i mean I'm not fidgeting like you so you get the personality together you know what i'm saying you a nice dude you know what i'm saying but at the same time you don't take no bull for nobody you feel me if you gotta you know what i mean get your hands dirty you will you feel me and then they uh, then you combine that with the looks you know what i'm saying like look man i know for a fact that that me like i accept my flaws right i know for a fact that like my acne used to be really bad my skin really been clearing up though i got a big ass pimple right here that that's from um probably being stressed bro i, just, I ain't even gonna talk about all the stress i mean i'm stressed the whole weekend but other than that though my face really been clearing up i really been focusing on that you know what i'm saying because that's a big part that a lot of dudes mess up your hygiene is trash your hygiene is straight garbo Wipe your face with a white towel right now. I guarantee that shit gonna turn brown. You brushing your teeth for 30 seconds every day, every morning. Your breath stain. 
Yeah, you might hit the gym every now and then, but you ain't really in the gym like that. Let me tell y'all something right now, bro. And this is not the flex in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. I was with the homies down in Vegas. I didn't record or nothing like that. I was with the homies down in Vegas, man. And, you know, me and the homies, we always in the gym. We always self-improving. We always getting our physique, our body up. You know what I'm saying? I really care about that. The whole trip, it was mad people talking about, dang, like, y'all got muscles. You know what I'm saying? It was Vegas, so it was hot. We had on tank tops and whatever. Dang, look at y'all, like... Yo, they, you would you would think we was bodybuilders. You would think we was bodybuilders. It was mad people complimenting our bodies and shit like that. We had motherfuckers taking pictures with us because of our, because how we was uh, looking physique wise. And we not even bodybuilders. Me, me, nigga, I'm lean. I'm just lean, athletic looking, but my body look good. You know what I'm saying? So that, that that just goes to show you don't even have to be like Johnny Bravo built. You know what I'm saying? As long as you just look good, your body can look good without being the biggest dude in the room. You see what I'm talking about? Your physique matters. And this is coming from a guy that used to be called ugly all the time. I used to be called ugly. That used to call my face mad ugly. I mean, it ain't, but, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just telling you that you can for sure change your looks. Hygiene, working out. So when you put these things together and you start increasing your value, this is when you can start making her really scent for you. Because now that you have the increasing your value thing out the way, you are already in high demand. Because guys like that, that work on those things are in very low supply. So, knowing this now, now you pair that with the attention thing that I was talking about. Now that you built your personality, looks, all that, you deprive your attention from these. Uh, deprive your attention from these women, man. Stop chasing them. Stop chasing them. Stop looking at every ass that you walk by. That's what I'm talking about. Stop looking at every ass. Stop thirsting over every woman. Let them come to you. That's why I be saying choosing signals, man. Y'all don't get it, man. Y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get it. Let them come to you. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. When you're talking to a woman, right? And we really going to get into the game part now. A lot of y'all probably skipped over it. A lot of y'all probably skipped because y'all thought this was just a self-improvement video. And y'all motherfuckers don't really want to watch those. You just want to know how to get these women. Fellas, this is where the game comes in now. So, when you're talking to a chick, right? When you first meet her, you want her to set for you? You have to do things differently. You have to come at her with confidence. The first time that you meet a woman, you should break the touch barrier. If you want her to really want you like that, you should break the touch barrier the very first time that you meet a woman. I'm talking about shake her hand, you know what I'm saying? Look her in the eyes and all that, you feel me? You should be in seduction mode. What does seduction mode mean? Basically, seduction mode is when you so relaxed and you just calm that you just kind of chilling. You know what I mean? Like your voice ain't too high. You know what I mean? You just kind of, you're not talking too fast. You talking clearly all of that man you in seduction mode so when you talking to her man you gotta understand that conversation just flows man you should never be in a position to where you think oh what do i say next what do i say next everything should just flow and the reason why everything should flow is because the woman that you're talking to she has to like you first so if she likes you she's going to make conversation easy for you see that's the thing a lot of y'all want women to sit for you that don't even want you in the first place fellas that's impossible a lot of y'all trying to turn water into wine. And I'm just telling you, it's impossible. The woman has to want you in order to send for you, bro. Right? And the way that she you're going to get more women to want you is, like I was saying before, value. So, boom. When you're talking to her, conversation should flow easily because she's going to make it easy for you. You know what I'm saying? She's going to literally give you avenues as to what to talk about. See, what you have to understand is that women are extremely indirect. They will do little things here and there, here and there. And they'll, 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 they'll be talking to you without words, right? So, for example, a woman will, will her body language, if she's close to you, if she's close to you and her body is facing towards you and she's making eye contact back with you, that's literally like, nigga, like, I fucking, I like, nigga, I want you. Make a move. Make a move. You know what I'm saying? Because women ain't going to be in close proximity to an ugly dude. She ain't going to be in close uh, proximity to a dude that she don't want. So what you have to do is you have to take advantage of this, man. You have to take advantage of this, man. Don't be afraid to uh, break that touch barrier. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, it's a risk. Okay, yeah, cool, it's a risk. But it's not like you're doing anything crazy. You know what I'm saying? Brush your hand, whatever. You talking to her. You know what I mean? All smooth, bro. You ask for your number, whatever the case may be. That first conversation should, is very, very key, man, because first impressions are everything. First impressions are everything, dog. If your first impression, uh, if her first impression of you is like, oh, this nigga weak, 
then I, she, she ain't never gonna change that, bro. Because her first impression of you is pretty much what she think about you for the rest of the time, bro. So that first impression is motherfucking key. From this point onwards, all of, all it is really is attention deprivation and value. You talk to her sometimes, and other times you pull back. You talk to her sometimes, and other times you pull back. You go on a date sometimes, and other times you pull back. You just link up sometimes and go crazy sometimes, and then you and then you pull back. It's always here and there, here and there. You never want to become predictable. As long as you're not boring, she will want you more and more and more and more every time she sees you. You just can't be boring. You can't be predictable. Predictability is the downfall, the downfall of dating. It's the downfall of your relationships, man. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. What a shame. You never want to be too predictable, man. And that's really all it is. It's really quite simple. It is it is that simple. It is that simple. And then you continue to do the things that made you valuable to her eyes in the first place. The physical, the personality, and the game. All of that. All of that, man. So you continue to do that. When you texting her, you feel me? You never want to be texting her like whole long ass paragraphs or whatever the case may be. You want her to, bro, you got to learn how to, <laughs> you got to learn how to like draw that energy out of her, bro. You want to stop all the mindless, senseless validation, bro. You want to do things like when you're talking to her, you want to kind of like, es you want to escalate, bro, but you don't want to make it like too blatant. Like, oh, I'm going to do this, 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 this. Calm down. Be a little more subtle. You know what I'm saying? When you're a little bit more subtle, it gives her something to like nibble on, something to chase. You know what I'm saying? Fellas. Long story short, if you want if you want a woman to sh uh, to scent for you, you have to give her something to scent for, aka you have to give her something to chase, bro. You have to have to have to remain unpredictable. You have to have to have to up your value. You have to have to have to not give your attention out to everybody, and you have to have to have to make sure that you do not give her all of your attention all in one time fellas she has to earn that and even when she does earn that fellas you don't just give everything oh 100 i'm focused on you no 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 women sent for the men that don't want them back and that's facts why do you think she like celebrity crushes and all that oh i know i ain't never gonna meet him okay well then why is you thirsting over him why is he your background image on your iphone you see what i'm talking about Fellas, women want what they can't obtain. So you have to become the unobtainable. You have to become the unobtainable. And by unobtainable, I don't mean like the bad way. Don't become no goddamn incel, my nigga. I mean become that guy that's that's really that dude. You feel me? You want to become the top dog. See, it's all a competition, fellas. It's really all a competition. You are competing with other dudes for that top spot. That's just the fucking facts. That's the facts. So what are you gonna do about it? You gonna sit around, or you gonna get up on your, uh, you gonna get up off your ass and start self improving? That's all I got for y'all today. Love y'all, man. Peace.